Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 29, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Only 3 days left. The 6 days after Christmas sale is in effect. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive the pre-negotiated price for my subscribers. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. Also, go check out my link below to the new Carrot Bar program. Now is the time to get involved so I can help you to help yourself. It's free to join and you will be ahead and all set for post-RV investing. Get yourself set up today and be a part of Team Denarian. I encourage you, stay ahead of the rest, stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. Abdul Mahdi's office explains why the final accounts were not sent to the House of Representatives. On Sunday, the spokesperson for the resigned Prime Minister, Saad al-Hadithi, explained the reason for the failure of the cabinet to send the final accounts from 2013 until this year to the House of Representatives despite its promise to submit it before resigning. Al-Hadithi said in a statement to Alma Aluma that the cabinet continues to complete the final accounts of previous years and completed a portion of them, noting that the legal obstacle is behind not sending it to the House of Representatives. He added that the government's shift to conduct daily business after its resignation prevents it from sending draft laws, noting that final accounts are sent with the federal budget law as an appendix and are discussed within the House of Representatives. The resigned Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, confirmed earlier that the cabinet will send the parliament the final accounts from 2013 until now. Next article of interest. The law we address the building coalition and the demonstrators and they agreed on one of these three names. On Sunday, December 29, 2019, the candidate for Prime Minister, politician Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, addressed a letter to his construction alliance, Hadi Al-Amiri, asking him to choose one of the three names recently nominated to fill the post of Prime Minister during the next stage. A statement issued by Alawi which he received Baghdad today, said, The gravity of the great events that Iraq is going through is compelling and may lead, God forbid, to the unforgiving consequences. He added, Through our follow-up to the context of what is going on in the political arena from the near breakthrough looming in the horizon coming from the nomination of three personalities by the Construction Alliance to fill the position of Prime Minister and they are Lieutenant General Abdul Ghani al-Assadi and the team. Tafiq al-Yasiri and engineer Muhammad Tafiq Alawi. I thank the brothers in the Construction Alliance for responding to the demands of the peaceful demonstrators and the nomination of these three independent personalities. We hope that in the end, one of these three personalities will be chosen in coordination with the citizens represented by the peaceful peaceful demonstrators to lead the country to the shore of peace and achieve the demands of citizens in conducting transparent elections and fair according to the new election law and laying the foundations for the establishment of a new political system based on justice and equality and the right and legitimate demands of the esteemed citizens and the formation of a government that represents the true voice of the people away from quotas and corruption, and achieving stability in Iraq and the countries of the region. He also said, the first steps that must be taken are to stop the state of congestion, confront peaceful demonstrations, seek the release of the kidnapped, treat the wounded, compensate the martyrs, and punish those responsible for the blood that was shed on the altar of dignity, freedom and parents, noting that the new reality is only the product of these pure and precious blood. We, and the people of the homeland, must have a pivotal role for the people of the nation in participating in the political process and the next government in addition to providing new mechanisms that enable the people of the country to correct the course of the political process whenever the national interest so requires. He concluded his statement by saying, I continue to support the true demands of peaceful demonstrators and the advancement of our country, and I confirm that I am not ready to assume this position unless I seek the consent of the demonstrators, and whether I hold any position or not, I aim to serve the country from any location. Next article of interest. 
in the document. Parliament's schedule for tomorrow's session. The media department of the House of Representatives published the agenda for tomorrow's session, which included voting on a proposal for the law of the First Amendment of the Federal Financial Administration Law. It also included completing the discussion of the draft law of the Second Amendment to the Premature Retirement Law. According to the document, the session will start at 1 in the afternoon. Is over. Next article of interest. A deputy reveals 170 representatives meeting with Barim Saleh tomorrow. On Sunday, the head of the Bayrak al Air Parliamentary Bloc, Mohammed al Khalidi, revealed a meeting to be held tomorrow with President Barim Saleh in Baghdad with the 170 representatives who signed the attributes of the next Prime Minister, while noting that Saleh did not violate Article 76 of the Constitution. Alka Alidi said in an interview with Al Sumeria News, the first paragraph of Article 76 talked about assigning the President of the Republic to the candidate of the largest bloc in the first session of Parliament, and as long as the assignment took place in agreement between the reform and building blocs after that session and the larger bloc was not named if that paragraph became from the past noting that, Paragraphs 3 and 5 of the same article talked about another situation that includes assigning the President of the Republic to the candidate for Prime Minister without talking about the name of a larger bloc. Next article of interest. Barum Salat Party. We support the continuation of the caretaker government headed by Abdel Mahdi. The Patriotic Union of Kurdistan to which the President of the Republic Barum Salat belongs, announced his support for the continuation of the caretaker government headed by the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Most of the leaders of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan support the continuation of the caretaker government because of the lack of agreement on an alternative Prime Minister for Abdul Mahdi, the party leader Ga'ith al-Sergi said in a televised statement to his follower, Alma Aluma. Al-Sergi added, the new leadership of the Kurdistan Union will hold a meeting on the current developments, noting that, we will agree on any candidate who is satisfied by everyone. Regarding the recent positions of President Barim Saleh, Al-Sergi stressed that, the President of the Republic may have been subjected to indirect political pressure. Next article of interest. The builder decides to file a lawsuit against the President of the Republic before the federal court. The deputy of the Construction Alliance, Hussein Arab, announced on Sunday that his coalition decided to file a lawsuit against the President of the Republic, Barum Sali, before the federal court on charges of violating the Constitution. Arab said in a statement reported by Al Shark Al Asset newspaper and seen by him slash the information, the Construction Alliance decided to file a lawsuit against the President of the Republic in front of the federal court on charges of violating the Constitution. The Republic is entrusted with appointing the candidate of the largest bloc in Parliament, who will give him the confidence first. As for whether such an attempt would succeed in sacking Saleh, Arab stressed, it is difficult to dismiss the President of the Republic in such circumstances, certainly for many known reasons. The deputy of the Al Fath Alliance, Mohammed Karim, considered, in a previous statement to Information, that the President of the Republic dealt with the issue of naming the Prime Minister as an emotional matter and courtesy of a certain political bloc, while indicating that these compliments would lead the political process to major problems. Next article of interest Al Mullah. The Americans are talking about a new stage in Iraq and Arab countries that do not recognize the current regime. The head of the Iraqi Scholars Group, Sheikh Gaulad al Mullah, revealed on Sunday, December 29, 2019, that personalities close to the Americans have contacted many officials and informed them about a new stage preparing for Iraq, explaining that the opponents of Iraq want a civil war in the country and the collapse of the current system. Sheikh al Mullah said, The President of the Republic, Barum Saleh, had to assign the figure nominated by the construction bloc to head the government. The opponents of Iraq want a civil war in the country and the collapse of the current system, considering that there are Arab countries that do not recognize the current system, Al Mullah added in a televised interview followed by the Obelisk. He pointed out that there are parties that are pushing towards Shiite Shiite fighting in Iraq and that the Shiite political class is the only target of what is going on in Iraq, 
According to Mula, he continued, some satellite channels are causing the protesters to collide with the Iraqi army. Sheikh Gaulet al Mula revealed that personalities close to the Americans have communicated with many officials and informed them about a new stage preparing for Iraq, explaining that the movement of people close to the Americans came after the end of the battle with ISIS. These figures targeted the Sunni officials, including myself, but I refused to meet with them, he added. Next article of interest. Mr. Amar al Hakim. The necessity for the head of the transitional government to enjoy popular support and be independent. The president of the National Wisdom Stream, Mr. Amar al Hakim, discussed with the South Korean ambassador in Baghdad Jang Kyung with bilateral relations between the two countries, developments in the political scene in Iraq and the region, and the contribution of Korean companies in the reconstruction of the country. And Mr. Amar al Hakim said during the meeting, According to a statement of his office, the al Farid news agency received a copy of it. The necessity of developing relations between Iraq with all countries based on common interests in achieving development and the public interest, stressing that Iraq has many promising opportunities in all fields. He stressed the necessity for the head of the next transitional government to gain popular support and is characterized by independence integrity and ability to manage the country at this sensitive stage and to create the appropriate atmosphere and climates for the early elections. For his part, the Korean ambassador expressed his country's desire and willingness to strengthen relations with Iraq and assist him in holding early elections by training the staffs and providing logistical supplies. Next article of interest. The Jerusalem Post. The missiles used to hit the K-1 base are similar to an Iranian missile shipment that Israel seized 2009. After the attack that targeted the K-1 military base Friday evening in Kirkuk, northern Iraq, and which resulted in the death of an American contractor and the injury of many soldiers. A group of pictures of the missiles targeting the base and a launch pad that appear to appear as social homemade. The American fingers pointed that the Iranian-backed militias were behind this attack, and what reinforces this theory is the report published by the Jerusalem Post, which stated that in 2009, Israeli forces intercepted an Iranian missile shipment destined for the Lebanese Hezbollah via the cargo ship MV Frankopan 107mm rockets, each weighing 18 kilograms, are exactly the same as those found near the K-1 military base on Friday evening. Next article of interest. China. This is how we dealt with the trade dispute with the United States. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce said on Sunday that it had dealt with the trade dispute with the United States proactively. The ministry said in a statement on its website after an annual conference that it applied the decisions of the central government and protected the interests of the country and the people. The trade war between the United States and China calmed down this month with the announcement of the first stage of an agreement that would cut some U.S. tariffs, in exchange for what U.S. officials say is a major jump in Chinese purchases of U.S. agricultural products and other goods. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce said it is in close contact with the United States on signing the trade agreement, and the two sides said they are in the process of finalizing the necessary measures before signing. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the six days after Christmas sale, today. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Sign up to the On the Carrot Bar program today, so you will be all set post RV, and it will be one less thing you will have to worry about. You definitely want to get on board with this program, it will benefit you in the long run and it's free to join. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved, stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.